Hello and welcome to Dimension Quest. I've just built up a new system that I'll be using as my daily driver soon. Once I got Ubuntu on here, each time I booted a different speaker and microphone was randomly chosen by the OS. I have two 34-inch curved conference monitors that have built-in microphones, speakers, and webcams. In addition to those, I also have a USB microphone that I prefer and use for recording voiceovers like this and for working through Zoom sessions and other conference calls. For audio, I have some Harman Kardon desktop speakers that I use. Even though they are many years old, they provide better audio quality than the speakers built into either of these monitors. Today's video will focus on getting rid of the random selection of devices at login so that I don't have to go in and manually choose the correct devices every time I boot. So first of all, let's take a look at my audio selection here. So we'll just go into GNOME settings, look at sound, and we'll scroll down here to our output. And we can see here that I've got mm, a couple from the NV monitor, a couple from the Dell monitor. I've got this line out and a um, couple HDMI outputs from my video card. And for the inputs, again, two for the NV monitor, two for the Dell, and two for the GD Professional. So that's the USB microphone that I'm actually talking on right now. All right, so again, as noted in the uh, intro there, each time I boot up, these are just randomly chosen to whatever. And unfortunately, sometimes that output device is set to full volume, so any kind of a system sound just kind of blasts the built-in speakers there. Not ideal. So what I would prefer is that each time I log in, the default audio device and input device are selected for me. And that would be the GD Professional Audio right here. And for output, I want this line out because these are my speakers. So those are the two that I would prefer. So how do we do this? Well, there's no checkbox here. There's no indication here in the user interface to set these as default. These settings right here are only going to last until I log out or restart the computer. And then once again, a vicious cycle repeats itself. I've got to go back in here and do everything all over again. Fortunately, I did a, a little searching around and I did find that there are some command line utilities that can be leveraged. So don't worry, we're going to automate things so that each time we log in, a command line is executed automatically and it will set both of these defaults for us. So let's take a look at what those are. Now, before we go into the command line, Make sure that on your system, you have selected your desired output device and your desired input device. And then we'll go ahead and close. And the reason for that is the following. The command that we're going to use is PACTL. So that is your pulse audio control. Okay. Now PACTL, and we want to list short syncs. Now we can see here that we've got some crazy looking stuff here, module also cards, analog stereo, analog stereo, HDMI stereo, HP NV. So these look like they are, what are they? Those are our speakers. Okay, so we can see this one here, that's definitely the HP NV monitor. We can definitely see this is our Dell monitor. And then we're kind of stuck here between HDMI and this analog stereo. Now I happen to know that this analog stereo is the output on the back of my motherboard for the speakers that I have plugged in. But if I didn't know that, then the way I would discover that is again, by making sure we have the settings in our GNOME settings set for the default speakers that we want to use. And then we come in here and we use a different command, pactyl get default sync. And now we can see that our default speaker is indeed that analog stereo. Now let's take a look at what we have available for our microphones. So microphones are sources. Now we can see that we've got several different sources here available because again, the, each of the monitors have their built-in microphones. The HDMI has stuff that's in there as well. And then of course I've got the GD professional mic that is sitting right there. That's the one that I'm actually using. That's why it shows this running here. So if the name of the microphone was not super obvious the way this one is, then we could do something similar as what we did up here for get default sync. We can just do get default source. 
there we go. So now we have our default source and we have our default sync. So now that we have that information available, we can take a look at what commands we have available for us. All right, so you can see that we have list. We did that earlier. We have git default sync or source, and we have set default sync or source. So obviously we've already done the git, and if we wanna set them, we would use set. But again, we don't wanna do that each time we log in, right? We wanna have something automated for us. Well, GNOME does have something like that available for us. And let me scroll back up here so that I have both of those IDs on screen. We've got this one. Let's go with our speakers first. So I'm gonna copy that to the clipboard so that we have it available. Now I'm gonna open up applications and I'm going to type startup. All right, so GNOME has the startup applications here. We'll select that and you would click add. And let's see, we're gonna do our speaker here. So I'm gonna, since I already have mine, I'm gonna just hit edit. Now for name, you wanna put something that makes it obvious what this particular startup program is for. And we're gonna call it set default speaker. And for the command, we wanna type PACTL space set dash default dash sync space, and then paste in the ID that you've copied from the git default sync. Okay, so you can see that I've already done that here. If you wanna put a comment, you can, and then just click save. All right, and then we would do the same thing for set default mic. You would go back over here to pactol git dash default dash source, grab that ID, and then for set default mic, it's gonna be almost the same command, but it's going to be pactol space set dash default source. There we go. So pactol set default source. That's what we want. All right. And then that one is, yeah, I have this messed up here. Good thing I'm recording the video so that I can actually uh, make sure that it gets set correctly. And we'll just copy that ID. And pactol set default source space, and we'll paste that in there and click save. Okay, set default mic, set default speaker. That should be good. Also output speaker, yep. And also input, okay, we are looking good. Okay, so that's it. Once you're done there, just make sure that you have clicked on save and click close. Now, the next time you reboot, these two commands will be run after you've logged into GNOME and your preferred input and output devices will be set. So just a quick video today so that I can refer back to this the next time I rebuild my system. Hopefully you have found it helpful. I try to release a new video every other Wednesday, so thanks for watching. Please do remember to click the like button, subscribe, and feel free to also hit that bell icon to be notified when I release a new video. Happy holidays. Bye-bye.